Yes, so the good on sickness of uterine lining in the FRESH protocol, in the FRESH transfer, it is the endometrium equal, equal and more than 8 millimeter transfer, it is the endometrium 7, uh, equal 7 and more. Uh, but at uh, the same time, Singer recently showed that the sickness of lining at the day of the transfer uh, does not have any predictive value because this sickness that we were talking before, it is the sickness at the late proliferative phase. But very important, we do not pay so many attention, it is what is happening with this during this six, seven day of progesterone administration. Because normally after progesterone start to act uh, or we administer it, so cause secretorial transformation of the endometrium and the endometrium afterwards became more hyper echogenic so more white and more thinner because it's becoming more denser but in practical life we can have three possible scenarios a uh, one scenario that even endometrium can keep growing after progesterone administration the second one is that the sickness of endometrium is not changing after progesterone administration and the third one is normal change when it is become thinner. So Robert Casper, Canadian scientist, showed recently very nice data. They showed that the pregnancy rate is much higher in the case when we see compactization of endometrium when it is become thinner after progesterone administration. So we repeated this data, observed the same. So that is why if we meet a patient uh, who have failed, who failed to achieve a pregnancy in previous cycle, and when we see that the lining after progesterone administration became thicker, so we cancel our defrosting of embryos and we cancel our frozen embryo transfer. We prescribe for those patients uh, agonists of GnRH of gonadotropin releasing hormone for two months. Afterwards, that progesterone receptors work better. And the after progesterone administration endometrium looks like uh, to be thinner, and estrogen activity is lower because also this endometrium keeps growing uh, because of extremely high estrogen activity. When these estrogens are normally not to be produced by endometrium, but in some of the cases, like in the case of endometriosis, the endometrium produces a lot of estrogens because of physiological expression of enzyme aromatase which converts the androgens into the estrogens and afterwards the endometrium produces a lot of estrogens which we don't like in the prolif in the circus.